Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. I'm going to show you how to replace the default jQuery zooming feature they have with your own that's maybe a little bit more updated. We're going to be using this jQuery zoom. It's a little bit easier. You just hover over instead of having to do that slide in and all that stuff that whatever the default one does. So to get started, I want you to download this jQuery zoom uh, uh, jQuery plugin here and we can get using this. So just like before, we're gonna have to add this uh, jQuery file, this jQuery Zoom plugin, this min. We're gonna add this to our JS uh, folder for our theme that's under uh, front end, well, it's under skin front end, our theme name, default JS. Uh, just like we have before, if you have any trouble with that, you know, feel free to go back to watch any of the other ones where we show you how to add a JavaScript file, an initial JavaScript file or something like that. I'm gonna throw this uh, icon in the, um, I'm just going to throw this in the CSS folder for now, and that should be good. We shouldn't have to do anything else than that. And in fact, I'm going to fix this icon path later, so I'm just not going to worry about it. So for this jQuery Zoom uh, plugin, all we really have to do is to give this uh, an element to zoom, and it's going to be finding the full-sized image, and it's going to take care of the resizing and everything for us. But first off, if we go to our actual product page, we never have done any styling with this, so this image is just full-sized. Uh, in fact, if I wanted to give this, I'm going to say width is 50%. Well, no, actually, I'm going to say this width is 200 pixels. So it's going to be here, okay? Because it's unreasonable to be that gigantic. So in my CSS, uh, I'm just going to make a quick um, note here, and it's going to say, uh, in fact, this has this product image inside of a, a paragraph. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say... Um, and it's going to be the class product img box and I'm going to actually delete that paragraph in our source code so we're not going to have to worry about that but then in here we're just going to say the image so the image that's inside the product image box is going to be the one that we want to tackle and this is going to be width and it's going to be 200 pixels I'm going to save this uh, we can refresh this page to make sure that is took and here it is Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our JavaScripts being added to the page So as always we've been going to this in our front-end file under layout In our theme we've been going to local.xml and we've been adding it here so where we've added our other ones um, just like we have before this is I'm going to add this as a new one, and it's going to be the same thing except for this JS file has a different name, uh, which I should have just copied. I could type it, but you know, there's no, there's no, you know, if you get it wrong, then you might be troubleshooting something that you don't need to. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this in here, like so. Okay, so it's got that. So now we should be able to refresh this page and check the source. We should be able to see that script is one of the sources. So I'm going to say zoom. Okay, here it is. Here's the plugin. It's really nice and lightweight, minified, and everything already for us. Cool. So, all right, back to here. Now we need to edit this template that's generating this image and modify it so it's using the script we want it to be using. So that template is the media.phtml, and this is located under your, uh, the default theme, you can find this under template catalog product view, and then under view, there is a media PHTML. So make sure you grab this, and keeping the uh, folder structure the same, drop it in your own template catalog product view and then we're going to throw it right in here, okay? Actually, this was the wrong one open, so I'm just going to throw mine in there. Media, here it is. I'm just going to drag this down, copy it over, just like we've done every other time. No, I don't want that. Okay, come on, keep going. And instead of here, it's going to go in view, product view, media description. Okay, cool. So now let's open this up in our text editor here. 
And here we have this file. Again, as always, I like to just make sure I'm in the right file. Um, you know, you should probably know you're in the right file and it's getting looked at, but there's always a good way to, you know, just do a test here and confirm that. Okay, so check this out. If we have uh, this file, this media.phtml, uh, this file is what's generating uh, pretty much all of the image stuff. And you can sort of tell by, like I said, you know, maybe put a test at the beginning and the bottom to see exactly what this is modifying. But it's really just the image, the media stuff that you'd expect it to be editing. And sort of the first thing it's checking for is uh, if the product image is not equal to no selection and there's a product image. So basically, as long as there's a product image, then I'll put this code. So this paragraph tag that we have here, I don't really want this to be in here. I'm actually just going to change this to a div anyways. Um, it just makes more sense to me as a div, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, it's fine because we have this uh, class of product image zoom that we can key off of for our script. And if you notice, there's a bunch of other stuff in here. This zoom stuff. Well, this is all with the old jQuery zooming stuff, and I don't want it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So if you'll notice here, there's this script tag. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this whole thing because that is the old jQuery. Uh, script and this is basically saying if there's not an image it's going to use the the default image and then if you go down here it's getting into the gallery images and stuff like that so we don't really care about too much other than this little bit right here what we have is uh, our div class with a product image zoom right here and actually I want to make one small adjustment to our CSS before we get into this, I want to have the uh, class that we're actually having the image in be also, well, I'll give that the width of 200% here. So this product image zoom, I'm going to give this a width of uh, 200 pixels, I apologize, 200 pixels. And I'm going to give this image a width of, we'll just say 100% inside of here. Um, that way, uh, this spans to the entire width of this, this box here. But this box is going to have a width of 200 pixels. We should save this. And now the next thing we want to do is come into our script. Uh, and our script.js is where we have been editing our uh, J, uh, jQuery stuff. You know, you could have this JavaScript in this file as well, but I'm sort of keeping all my scripts together in one file. So uh, you can do it how you'd like, but this is just how I'm doing it for this example. So in here, just like any normal jQuery, I'm going to be calling on the class of product image zoom. And then all I have to do to trigger this plugin to work is dot zoom. And then I'm going to give parentheses and a semicolon. I'm going to save this. And let's come back to the page here. I'm going to refresh this. I'll close out of this. And now when I hover over this, we get this nice zoom effect. It's a little bit a uh, little bit better than before. And in fact, if, let's, if my, let's make this a little bit easier to see just by putting a box shadow on this. So I'm just going to add a box shadow. It's going to be one pix, one pix four picks and then cool just a, a small little drop shadow here or something so now you can actually see where the borders are a little bit better and check it out it's working awesome it's, it's just going really good it's it's perfect let's see why this icon where it's actually looking for this icon if you see this zoom class icon it's going to be trying to pull in that icon itself. So to get the zoom icon, we just need to add some CSS to this uh, div class of zoom icon. And you can actually find that CSS within your HTML file here. If you open up the demo, uh, we can throw it over here. And there's a class zoom icon, optional style icon. And we're actually gonna change this URL to just be uh, dot dot slash and then images, because this is where our images are located, right? Um, yep, right here, images. And we're going to copy this whole class right here. And we're going to throw it in our styles file. Just throw it right down here. And I'm going to have to comment some of this stuff out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. Now let's refresh this. And we should see that icon. Oh, it didn't like that icon. I think I might have put it in the wrong folder. Uh, yeah, I put it in the CSS folder by accident. So it needs to go into images. Oops, OK, refresh this. And we should be all good. Perfect. Now we have this uh, just looking just like theirs. We can treat this however we want. But in my opinion, this is a better version of what their Zoom is. Their Zoom looks sort of outdated, in my opinion. So check it out, jQuery Zoom. It's on uh, jacklmore.com slash Zoom. 
Uh, it's a nice little jQuery plugin here. As always, this is Scott with Love Love Tuts. If you have any questions about this, you know, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up on the comments. Let us know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. Bye.